on uh, ballistic hulls. Nothing building at the minute, so I might as well have a play. I've got my Hellwraith coming out in uh, 19 hours and 7 minutes, but that'll be almost fully built. Well, my Hellwraith's out and running, it just needs about four weapons put in. Yeah. I'm just debating whether to do that now, or as soon as we're talking about it. Accelerators, you reckon? Uh, what on um, subs on L race? No, no, chuck them on them uh, Crusaders. On Crusaders, yeah, yeah, whatever. As long as you're using ballistic weapons on it, yeah. Because there's a lot of people who use Crusader with launchers and you know with cryo weapon and all sorts. So they don't build it as a ballistic hull. And it should be because it's a ballistic uh, extras, you know. What you, I mean? you need part particle accelerators and nuclear cruisers for the speed, and because they're slow. But as soon as I hit that that land, you've noticed, uh, SpongeBob. As soon as I hit that land, because it's ten seconds uh, delay, you you wipe it all out, and I've got. Um, 1k and you got nine well what was it seven million for one shot yeah i ain't got nuclear accelerators no oh, you haven't got them. No, you I got pass you you particle accelerators i'm sorry but they hit hard Yeah, but what I'm saying is, if he puts nuclear accelerators on his Crusaders, he'll get extra range and extra speed on his Crusaders. With them particle accelerators, it, it'd be as fast as me, but it'd be taking, it'd be getting more points than I do, because I've only got one. Because with uh, Crusader's combat speed, it takes you 10 seconds to even catch up with me. The thing is, as it stands at the minute, if I put Speed System 5 on, it will actually become slower, because I haven't retroed it. No, you need uh, no clack accelerators <laughs> as well as speed. They put by on. Nuclear accelerator is for um, range, accuracy of your weapons and um, speed. Yeah, it, it's a it, well. It does. It does fifty percent ballistic range, forty percent ballistic accuracy, and twenty four point one percent bonus combat speed. They're better than hardened barrels, free. Yeah, but if you haven't got nuclear accelerator, hardened right. barrels three is just as good. I've got them, but it won't let me put them on. What have you got on with it? Uh, at the minute, I've got Hardened Barrels 3. That needs to come oh, off. Is it that has got to come off as well? Yeah, because that is exactly the same as Nuclear Accelerators, only without the combat speed, I think. Right, okay, then. I think it's just got Ballistic Range and Ballistic Accuracy, that one. Take Hardened Barrels off and your space system put nuclear um, put the um put the one on we are saying and you can put um <laughs> sorry i just oh, shut. <laughs> couldn't help but laugh there man <laughs> so sorry i am <laughs> go on carry on I'm drunk. I'll I'll stop talking. <laughs> no shit, you're not drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that was just so funny with that. Right. Anyway, if I put these um, nuclear accelerators on, that brings me up to 28 combat speed. Yeah. That'll be about right. 
got a 13 hour refit. That's not too bad though, is it? If you do it like now, it'll be done when you wake up in the morning. That'll be one done, wouldn't it? And I can chuck another one on. What's time now? Mine is quarter past ten at night. That's no, that's no good. Yeah, 13 hours from now. It'll be 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I know. I'm at work at night. Oh, right, right, yeah. Well, what you might want to do is, depending on what time you go to bed, do it then and it'll be even later for when you get home from work. That's what I'm thinking, if I chuck something like this. See, I like to time my bills so I'm going to be around to start another one off, because everything is time-related so much on this game now. Yep. Right, so what I'm doing is, in that case, I'm at... Nine and a half hours, what's that going to be now? Do you know, a lot of us have um, overlooked that cryo trigger, you know. Do you see what that does? It's a Draco cryo trigger, yeah, what we're in tier 4 one time. It's a re resonance trigger, right? It has a range of 80. But it says, a draconian tactical installation that can be equipped to any water structure that will deploy a cryo field that will debuff nearby enemy ships when their structure is destroyed. Are you want to stick that on your oil rigs and stuff? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, can, actually, can you put it on... Is it like, um, them little... Oh, you know the... Atomus. I'm sorry, I'll use frontline countermeasures in my fleets every time. Countermeasures, yeah, yeah. But this has got a resonance trigger. Oh no, and it says no. No resonance trigger. Why put that on if it's a no? Where are you finding that, dude? Cryo trigger. Yeah, in where? In um, blueprints, hang on a minute. Uh, advanced. If you don't see it, Bob, you haven't got it. You probably haven't no, got I don't it. think I have. It's just something to think about, really. I think everybody's overlooked that because it would uh, a dropped from a tier five pre prize into a tier four, and everybody who's got it, I think, just overlooked it. But basically, it's to stun enemy ships with a nice block field. It says structure. I don't understand that bit. A draconian tactical installation that can be equipped to any water structure that will deploy a cryo field that will debuff nearby enemy ships when that structure is destroyed. Is that what, like, the Artemis does, then drops them little freeze balls in water? Alright, I feel you, I would have thought so. Because it says, cannot be used with and for remote targeting, duration 15 seconds. Oh, wait a minute. I've got a lot of things on my um, oil rigs for uh, ice fields and stunk. I've got a lot on my uh, my warehouses so they hit it and they slow down. Yeah well this you see this actually does a, a little field of ice but it's for buildings, ships and turrets so you can equip it to any of them building, ships or turrets. It's a hostile weapon so maybe you can't up it to ships, maybe you own it, it, only hostile to ships. If it's not not 105%, it's not even what 105% range, it's not even worth it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, let me see what range is it. Don't think it's range 80. No, it's range 80, isn't it? Yeah, but it actually gives an extra 30%. No, sorry, takes off 30% of each 
ballistic concussive explosive penetrating radioactive and it in extinguishes enemy fire fields gives you gives them minus 30 combat speed minus 100 seconds on radioactive damage ballistic reload of minus 40 concussive reload of minus 40 explosive reload minus 40 penetrative reload minus 40 radioactive reload of minus 40 and turn speed of 30 so it'll just knock any ship up that you put that in front of uh, any turret that has 105 range and then it'll work yeah. I wonder if it has yeah. to go on cryo turret though no I would have said put that on an oil rig so then you then it slows everything down and your turrets can get to it your turrets can shoot the ships that are in that field yeah so you put them in your channel again yeah you know like with the oil slick where you can get things to sh shoot through your channel into all your turrets No, I haven't got it because it was about four weeks worth of FM away for me. Yeah, I'm going to say if you haven't got all prizes in tier four, you just check back and see which, you know, how long it is before you get it and you you can work it out yeah. now, can't you? Yeah, well, the next one I'm going to get is going to be the Arbalest. And so far, my tier four is behind. Well, that that's what you want to refit onto your Crusader then. Oh, no, sorry, you've got cannons on it, haven't you? Yeah, but the particle accelerators on there. Yeah, yeah. No, no, forget that then. I didn't get them, so I've I've got uh, arbalists on my punishers, and they're kicking ass, as you've seen. In fact, you know, I think that crossbow might be a good weapon now because it it doesn't have to stop and fire, so that'll be working like the arbalist, you know. And it's only light; it's a forsaken weapon as well. Uh, Drax Scattergun, one, one five range, but the thing is, they've got to get into my range of my uh, revenge before they actually uh, have to kill that. Yeah. Uh, there's no base part that speeds around because I've thrown the cannons out, we could have a look. Oh, I've, um, I've just taken them all, sorry man. No, it's all right. I was going to going to chuck them in one of the low level ones. You can see the damage they do. Well, I were doing 30, 40, and 60. I never tried a 50. I don't know if there is a 50 actually in mines, but I did 30, I 40s, and 60s. Really. And I ended up getting 25 minutes repair per Punisher. But what came back after doing a few or whatever I found, you know, around. And then, uh, and then I did them. Um, Brought them back to base and we're like 25 minutes to 40 odd minutes repair. The thing is, because I don't use them, I don't mind putting them in, like I say, behind his punishers. You mean Reaper Mines? Yeah, if they die, they die, because I don't use them much. So I just repair them and then do the FM another day with them. No, the uh, Draconian bases, you know the Draconian mines? They're little bases. I tried one of them Reavers targets anyway with me, um, my new Hellwraith and I got smashed, man. <laughs> but it was only an hour and odd. Repair, I think about an hour and 47 repair, something like that. Fully dead. Oh, no. My hell race can do the 30s or 50s. What, what, um, what target was you doing, G? I tried a 50 and then I tried the, the big one, the 70. And uh, it was 70 that smashed me. I did the 50, but I got spotted a few times and it didn't hurt as much as what the 70 did when I got spotted. <laughs> they just all just, Reavers just all came at me straight away. Whoa, and I were, I were dead. 